Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial for moving from Squarespace to WordPress. So in this series, we're going to explain how you can move to WordPress with flow themes. It will include some details on uh, choosing uh, your hosting, um, how to install WordPress and give any example of that with one of the hosting providers and using a one click installer, how to install your theme, as well as exporting the content uh, from Squarespace and moving it into uh, WordPress. So we'll also cover some details uh, and the basics of um, using our flow themes and, and the WordPress backend as well so you have a good idea of how that works. And uh, finally, we'll uh, give you some more uh, hints and tips on some things to look out for when making this transition. So um, let's get started with looking at the hosting providers. There are a lot of hosting provider options out there. So you can see some of our recommended hosting providers on flowthemes.com forward slash hosting. There are a lot of hosting providers out there. There are some that aren't so great. And the six that we have chosen, we've worked with closely over the last uh, few years. SiteGround being our recommended uh, provider as they offer the greatest flexibility, uh, pricing and speed. So if you're not sure what to choose, SiteGround would be the one that we would default to. Now. When you are choosing hosting, you should uh, always make sure that they're using the latest technology. So make sure that they're using um, a high version of PHP. Find out if they have PHP 7.0 plus and also if they have uh, solid state drives for their servers. Um, we also recommend checking for those that uh, offer uh, daily or weekly backups for your website. It is very important that you have that whenever you're uh, choosing your hosting provider. Um, that will save you a lot of hassle in the long term. I do know that SiteGround offers that. So again, uh, there are lots of things to check out for, but to keep it simple, I, I do recommend looking at our six recommended hosting providers or reaching out into the community and asking what uh, what others have had good experiences with. So um, yeah, you could do that as well, guys. But if you were to choose a hosting from us, it would be SiteGround. One other thing to think about is the location of the hosting. Not all hosting providers will offer the location that is closest to you and your clientele. So if your clients are based in the UK, uh, we highly recommend choosing a hosting provider that offers um, some servers that are close to or in the UK. Uh, as mentioned, SiteGround will offer uh, options for hosting in three locations, the US, uh, UK and Europe, and then also um, in Asia. So Singapore for those of you that are in Australia and that region as well. So once you've chosen your hosting guys, um, you'll want to then set up WordPress. In this case, I'm gonna show you how to set up uh, WordPress with SiteGround and how to use the one-click installer. It is a really simple process. Again, uh, all of these hosting providers will offer this one-click install service and uh, you can refer to their documentation for getting that set up. We do have tutorials that explain how to manually set up WordPress if you need those. Um, however, it will be quite a bit easier doing the one-click installs if possible. The first thing I want to do is go into your cPanel and you will want to go to your account. Uh, once you've logged into your account, so I just logged into my account and now you will want to set up a uh, WordPress installation. So first of all, to do that, you just go to your control panel. Again, this is just for SiteGround. You will, uh, you'll be able to get different options for different hosting providers. Um, and again, they, they will have tutorials explaining how to do this. But in this case, most of them will offer some sort of WordPress installer. You can just go ahead and, and, and uh, click on that. And with that, then you can install a new installation. Now I already have an installation on my main domain. Um, and that will, will be what you will do. You will not need to add a directory, but in this case, um, because I have an installation ready, I will uh, just add a new, new directory so that I can install WordPress there. So once I have that set up, I can then uh, set up a uh, password as well and uh, a username. And I highly recommend not using um, admin as the username. It is a weak uh, 
username for uh, your site and it will leave you more susceptible to being hacked. Again, your password should also be relatively strong, uh, contain alphanumeric characters and be around 12 to 13 digits long. So the longer it is, the better guys, um, the more secure it will be. So once you've set that up, you don't need to add a theme or anything like that. You can just go ahead and install it, um, let it run. And uh, once it's run and uh, working well, then it will just be a matter of logging into WordPress. And I'll just give you a quick overview of, uh, of that in a moment. So now the site is installed, you can just go ahead to the uh, URL and you can log in. So to do that, you just go to the URL of your site. Now, it may be the case that your domain is still with Squarespace and you have set up a temporary domain um, or you need to use a temporary domain to get started. If that is the case, please reach out to your hosting provider and find out how that's going to work. Um, it probably will be the best method is to use a temporary domain. And if that's the case, uh, by all means, just speak with your hosting provider and they'll give you those details. To log in uh, to any WordPress site, you will just go to the domain and then at the very end, you will add wp-admin. Now with that, that will be the login for your site. And uh, once you're logged in there, you will, be, uh, you will have then the WordPress dashboard. You can then see the, front on the, uh, the site on the front end by loading up the, the site URL. And uh, again, you can see here, this is a fresh installation of WordPress. Uh, so there isn't really much here to get started. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna quickly show you how to install your theme. And when you install your theme, then we will also cover some details as to uh, the Flow Themes admin area and what are blog posts and pages. So when, when we understand that, then you'll understand uh, much better how WordPress is structured.